So we're talking about the success early, earlier. Early uh, how does it feel? I feel really humbled and honored to be, uh, you know, to receive this award by such a prestigious organization. You know, among the great, good and the great. For a small guy, you had journey. When I started my journey, I could never have imagined that one day I'll be at this stage, standing among the big giants and receiving recognition. So I'm really, really, am grateful and thankful to Almighty for giving me the inspiration to be where I am today. Of course, you're very humble as always, uh, but of course, this is an award for excellence. Uh, what does the Asian Awards mean to you and your experience tonight presenting Mr. Ranger with the award? Well, I'm a, a hack politician, you know. I attend a lot of awards and I meet a lot of people, but rarely in my life. In fact, I can honestly say, with the exception of my own parents in my whole life, I've never come across a man like Rami Ranger. Not for doing well in business, because with the greatest respect to that, a lot of people do well in business. But his whole life is contributing and helping other people. And he's like a human dynamo. Many people by his age are saying, well, I'm retiring and that's it, you know, I've done everything. But he isn't. He works harder than ever, not on the business so much these days, but on things to help other people, because he knows he was blessed when his father was terribly killed in um, the war oh, in India in, 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 in the partition wars that took place and he knows that his life is blessed by his mother we met through because of his liking of my mother and I know that every day to Remy is helping other people and that's why I think the award wasn't just an award at an Asian dinner it was something really very special to him it is a night with mothers isn't it and having mothers connect us and of course Mother Teresa being honored women empowerment and the Asian business world what would you say about that well, I think you know it is it is very important that women are given equal opportunities because, you know, I'm very fortunate that my mother was educated, my fa father treated her as an equal, and uh, she went out to school, college, and she was able to look after her eight children, having lost everything. And, you know, this is the uh, if very uh, bad judgment on people who keep who turn assets into liabilities. They keep their women behind re without realizing that one day they could go prematurely and they will leave a woman, a mother, unable to cope with the children and a woman unable to deal with this modern world. So it is very important that women are empowered because end of the day, uh, husband and wife together make the family. And if you, you have one strong person and the other one weak, even the strong becomes weak. You both partners have to be strong, and I'm today a successful businessman and entrepreneur or whatever, because my wife, I didn't have to look back, because my wife could take care of my children, took care of my home, she went on to work, she was a, she's a remarkable woman, and I was able to concentrate in the job, business, I could travel and everything. So my advice to those people who think by controlling women and keeping them subservient, they are achieving more, but they are in fact lagging behind with those who treat their women as equal. So it's very important that we must treat our women as our friends, as our partners, as our, you know, whatever. Wonderful. Uh, well, I'll leave it on that note. It's wonderful to see you do uh, speak. It's wonderful to meet you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the Thank evening. Thank you very much. Thank you.